Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Tech Yourself, where we cover technology for everyone. We do a lot of budget-oriented technology videos on this channel, so if you're into that, consider subscribing. Today, I have just installed macOS Catalina on my iMac. It just got released to the public, and uh, I'm just going to kind of walk through and give you my initial impressions of it. It just finished installing, and I haven't done anything on the computer. Uh, this is a release I've been quite excited for. I think it brought, you know, some well-needed changes to the macOS operating system. So, uh, let's get started. The first thing, and I say this with every release, but I really love this background. When this one popped up, I was impressed. It looks really, really nice, and uh, they always do on Apple's displays. But I just see, I'd like to see, I think this is the dark version because it's dynamic wallpaper. I would like to see what the daytime version looks like. Let's see. That's nice. I like that. I like that one a lot. That's honestly my favorite one so far. Looks like we got some other ones there. Uh, ooh, that's... That one hurts the eyes a bit, so we'll stick with this one. I like that. We'll keep it like that for now. Uh, but let's see. The big, the big parts here, I guess, are these apps down here. They've gotten rid of iTunes, finally. I mean, finally for, you know, those of you who didn't, you know, like it and thought it was cluttered. I am one of those people. Uh, I'm glad they separated it out. So they've got a separate music, podcasts, TV, and all that apps now. So I want to kind of see what the new music looks like. Oh, it sees my iPhone. Okay, that's clean. I like that a lot. That's very, very clean. Yeah, that's all there is to it. It's basically just like Apple Music on your iPad, kind of right here. So it's got some of my recommended stuff there. Some Harry Connick Jr. Yeah, I like it. That's much better than the old iTunes, because you'd load up the old iTunes and you'd have all the stuff you bought, like, 10 years ago on iTunes, and then and then you just want to go and play some Apple Music stuff. So that is very, very cool. Uh, I'm afraid to go in here on video, because again, there might be some stuff I bought on iTunes when I was a young lad. <laughs> yep, so that's exactly what I thought it was. It's all the stuff you either ha you have in your library somehow, whether that be your you know, original iTunes library or, you know, your iCloud library, stuff you bought. Uh, I, you're supposed to still be able to get to the iTunes store. I really don't know how that works, so we're going to have to find that out. How to buy songs on iTunes in Catalina. The iTunes store on Mac can easily be found in the improved sidebar. No, it can't. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, show iTunes Store. Wow, they really, they really do. You can tell they want, they want you to move to streaming, obviously, because they hide that. Let's do that. Ah, there we go. Yep. So you just enable that. Go to the iTunes Store. Yep. There you go. It basically, looks like the old iTunes. Let's go to the. Kind of want to try the podcasts app now. Let's go do that. Um, sorry. Keep going podcasts oh nice again really clean I like this I might actually listen to podcasts on my computer now I used to even if I was near my computer I'd always do it on my phone but this basically looks like the phone which is nice browse yep it's essentially the iOS app which again is no surprise they did that with the I think it was the Apple News app and the stocks and something like that uh, but yeah, that's cool. Now you're supposed to be able to back up your iOS devices to your Mac still. Um, but it's not, you know, like you could on iTunes, but it's not in the music app anymore. It is in Finder, I believe. Yep. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, that's essentially what you had in iTunes. That's exactly the same page you had in iTunes, basically, right there. And look at that. You can go and back up now. And we'll see how this works. I'm assuming it works the same, but my iPhone does need to be backed up, so... Oh, yeah, you can see right over there it's working. 
in the settings here, there doesn't appear to be anything super, super new. Uh, it does kind of have that iPad look going on. If you've ever gone into the settings on an iPad, this looks very similar to that. Looks like you've got Apple ID settings up here now. I'm assuming that took the place of uh, the iCloud button. So if I'm not wrong, there shouldn't be an iCloud button in here anymore. Yeah, yep, yep, that's probably what that did. One thing I was a little worried about was the performance, especially on older Macs. I think it was High Sierra that had some issues where on older Macs, it had some weird graphics glitches and stuff like that, and animations were all glitchy until a few updates in, and the big place to test that out would be Launchpad. Oh, that is perfect. Yeah, that's nice and smooth. I like it. Now, I also wanted to try out... I wanted to see Apple Arcade. But I'm gonna just take a quick look at the TV app here for a second. And that's... I mean, that's, you know, pretty much what I expected. It's what it is. You've got Apple TV exclusives, and then you've got the services you can sign up for and pay through, you know, pay for through your Apple ID and all that. So nothing... Nothing surprising here. Let's go to the App Store. I believe that's where Apple Arcade is. We've got Play. Ah, oh, there we go. Arcade. Yeah, this app doesn't look a whole lot different. Looks like it just got a little facelift. All right. Yeah, so Apple Arcade is in there, and you get a month free. So stay tuned, because I think that is going to be another video coming up here. I'm not only going to try out some of these games, but we're going to see how well they run and how well, I guess, optimized they are even for older machines. So that'll be a fun video, definitely stay tuned for that. So yeah, overall my initial impression is I, I really like it. Uh, there's not a whole lot of, you know, like, glitchy behavior going on up front, which I've experienced with some of the other upgrades. It seems pretty polished, refined. Uh, I like, I like, I really do like the breaking out of the music, TV, and podcast apps. I think that was a good move by Apple. Uh, but other than that, the most important thing for me is that my workflow was not interrupted. There's nothing here on the surface that is going to take relearning or, you know, interrupt my workflow. So I am happy with that. That's a successful operating system release to me. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you found it entertaining. If you've tried out OS, Mac OS Catalina, Leave it down in the comments below. Tell me your experiences, any bugs you found, any things you like, you don't like, or any comments. Whatever you want to put down there, go ahead. I like to, I read all my comments, and I'll try and respond to you. Um, but other than that, that's it for me. You can look forward to a full review on macOS Catalina coming soon. Other than that, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.